Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me first impressions with the Revlon Eyes, Cheeks, and Lips palette in uh, Romantic Nudes. I got this palette a while ago from the London Drugs Beauty event, but I didn't do a video on it. I kind of just forgot about it. It's not super exciting, which is probably why I haven't tried it out yet. I haven't even, like, put it on my face. I have swatched some of the colors and they seem alright. But yeah, I thought I would try it out for the first time on camera for you and sort of let you know as I go how I like it. I checked online and these do still sell at Ulta. They sell for $18 American, at London Drugs for $20 Canadian. So they're kind of pricier but they do come with several different products. It comes with six eyeshadows, a blush, and two lip glosses, and two lipsticks. I showed you the wrong sides but these are lipsticks, these are lip glosses. They are panned but it's pretty, like, it's a pretty compact little palette. You could easily carry it in your purse if you wanted to. It does come with brushes. It comes with a blush brush, a sponge tip applicator, and also a tiny little lip brush. I probably will only use the lip brush, uh, and I'll use my own brushes for everything else, but it is nice to know that those are in there. It just makes it an easy, even easier sort of travel palette. So let's see. I will speed through my base makeup for you and just jump right into the palette because that's kind of the interesting part. Alright, so that's that. So now I'm going to start off with an eyeshadow primer because I would use an eyeshadow primer with any eyeshadow. So it wouldn't really be a fair test without it. I'm just using the Essence Ella Color Intensifying Primer as I have been recently. So for eyeshadows, there are six, like I said. There are three warm tones and three cool tones. You can kind of go with what they have here and do two different looks, or you can obviously mix them up and do something a little more creative. They're probably going with, these are your highlight shades, these would be your lid shades, and these would be your crease shades. You can do what you want, though. I am going to start by using this warmer highlight shade under my brows and on the inner corner. I also want to point out that these are all shimmery colors. There are no mattes in this palette, so if you don't like all shimmers, then at the very least this isn't going to be the only thing you can travel with. The shimmer in this color is a little bit chunky. Yeah, it's also not quite pale enough to really highlight my skin, but I guess it'll add some shimmer. This one's probably the closest to matte, and that's what I'm going to use in my crease today. I'm going to try and use it really lightly because it is a little deep. So just taking a crease brush, tapped off really well. And we'll see if I can get this on gently. That blends out pretty well. Also, something in this palette smells a little bit like candy. It's probably the lip products, but it kind of makes the whole thing smell <laughs> kind of good. So that looks pretty good. I'm sure you could deepen it up a lot more if you wanted to, but this is what I wanted to do. So it's good to know that that is an option. See, like, look how deep it goes on when you start. And then for my lid, I'm going to use this almost golden champagne shade. The pigmentation 
is not bad. It's not excellent. You're going to want to layer it up a little bit. But, yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's not as bad as I was expecting from my swatches. Maybe that's the eye primer helping. It probably is. So I would recommend an eye primer. And then to finish that off, I think I'm just going to take uh, the warmer deep color, which is almost plummy. I'm going to pop that on the outer corner. Of course, one downfall is that the powders are going to get in your creamy colors here, which is not optimal. And of course, they put the deep colors right beside the creams, so that sucks. So it's not too bad. There's a little bit of a shimmery fallout, but the deep colors don't seem to have collected under my eyes, so that's nice. They're not amazing, but they did blend out pretty well. If you like to keep things pretty light and shimmery, then this might be an okay thing for you. I don't think this is something that like eyeshadow fanatics are going to be a huge fan of, but it might be a good travel palette for someone just starting out or who likes really neutral, easy looks. You could get a smokier look out of those colors, I think, but I mean, it is still, it's very shimmery, and so you don't have those matte options, so it's never going to be a perfect palette. Also, the colors are not crazy pigmented. You're not going to get a ton of difference out of them, but it is nice that there are some cool and warm tones. You're going to get, like, a few different looks out of it. And obviously I'm just doing my brows with the CoverGirl Brown Eye Maker Pencil. All right, now I'm gonna try out the blush, which is this one right here. It's a very fair blush, so I don't think it would show up on darker skin tones. I'm not even gonna show, sure it's gonna show up on mine. I'm kind of expecting this to look like a bit of a pinky highlight. Yeah, so it seems like there might be a little bit of color. It's mostly shimmer but I do think this side is a little bit pinker and it's definitely glowy, so I mean, it's, it's all right. Now let's finish up my eyes before I put the lips on. I'm using my 24 seven glide on eye pencil in zero, just to do my waterline. And then my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara, waterproof of course. All right, then for the lips, I'm gonna use the lip brush that comes in the thing, which is this adorable tiny little thing right here. Uh, it's a little stiff, but not as glued together as some I've used, and it's kind of nicely tapered, so. Because I think this could use a little bit more, I'm gonna use the deeper one, also just because I'm me. It does look like it has sort of a silver, it does look like it has sort of a silver glitter in it, but hopefully that won't transit on the lips. So that's what that sort of builds up to. It's, it looks like it has a bit of a metallic edge to it, but it mostly ends up looking kind of shiny. It's also more of a rosy nude, whereas in the pan, I feel like I sort of look, thought it looked more like a light berry shade, but maybe it comes out pretty similar on my lips. Maybe I'm just wrong. Um, so yeah, it's fairly nice. It makes a fairly nude, neutral type of look. It's nothing super special, but if this is like the type of look that you really love wearing, I think that you could create like several sort of versions of this look. Lighter lips, glossier lips. You can make a smokier look. You could make a paler look as well. All of the products are really shimmery though. So if you don't like shimmers, this obviously is not the palette for you. It's also, 
I don't know, it feels expensive to spend $20 on a palette from the drugstore, but there are also more expensive drugstore palettes. And this one comes with eyeshadows, lip products, and a cheek product, so it's like it kind of depends who you are, whether this is something that should interest you or not. I think if you really like really pigmented looks um, and like to wear lots of different types of makeup, this might not be a palette for you. The, the blush is very soft and muted and isn't really going to show up as more than a highlighter on darker skin tones so if you unless you're quite fair this probably isn't a good palette for you there are two more colors so maybe the colors in those would work better but yeah this is this is a very very fair person palette but yeah it is pretty if you just need a very simple palette that can do a couple of nude shimmery looks for you then it's pretty good. The lip brush was not too bad to work with. It was a little short and hard to hold on to, but I mean, it looks good. All of the edges look perfectly fine. It built up the color perfectly, so that's fine. Again, it's easy and compact to carry around, so if you want to keep touching up with the same lipstick throughout the day, it's not really hard to throw in your purse. And also because it has the blush brush and the eyeshadow brushes, if you really needed to touch those up, you could with those applicators. I think I've said enough things that you kind of should know if you're interested in this palette or not. I wouldn't say don't buy it if it does interest you and it does, this is something that you want to create on your own face, then I think it's a pretty good palette. I just wouldn't recommend it to everyone necessarily. Uh, my overall recommendation on that or overall, I guess, assessment of that is meh. But yeah, I will probably continue to use it for sort of day to day type of makeup. So that is everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this chatty, get rid of me first impressions type of video. Let me know if you wanna see more like this and I can try to do that when I get other new products. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and subscribe to see more videos from me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.